Hello guys, I'm Seth Ronald Lamo from Rizal National Science High School and I'm going to teach you about mathematical series and sequence. Today we're going to differentiate sequences from series. Let's start with the story. First part follows a sequence. The stick man goes upstairs, continues to go up on the same stairs, goes down to the uneven steps, goes up in a much uneven steps, until he finds an escalator, and finally reach the top of the stair. Those are the sequences. But we can also use the term series. How? By adding the conjunction end. Let's start. So he drops off, falling down, flashing down, and falls down on an airplane. And he flies, and flies, slashing the air with wings, playing in the air. And his airplane malfunctions, thus crashes and wrecks to the sea. And it converts into a small skit. And suddenly, skit gets a hole. And he tries to cover it, but he can't. And so he sinks. And he can't breathe. And then a life boy attaches to him, and this pulls him upward. And in the blink of an eye, he changes into an anchor which pulls him down to the bottom of the sea. He needs air, and miraculously, the setting changed, and now, he's breathing. The end. What is a sequence? We related the word sequence in the story a while ago. In the story, sequence means process of animation or succession of events. While in math, sequence means succession of numbers. Okay, let's start. We have 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. What will be the next number? It's 18. Why? We just added 3 each time. 0 plus 3 equals 3, 3 plus 3 equals 6, and so on. Let's try another one. 5, 3, 1, negative 1, negative 3, negative 5, negative 7. What's the next number? The answer is negative 9. We just added negative 2. Moreover, the book definition of mathematical sequence is a list of numbers that change due to common differences or ratio in particular. With numbers, we usually assign each part with a special symbol, a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, and so on up to any n term. a sub 1, a sub 2, and a sub 3 are called the succession of terms. So, each of them is called a term. We have 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36. A sub 1 is equal to 1. A sub 2 is equal to 4. A sub 3 is equal to 9. The question, what would be the 10th term? Let's analyze. 1, 4, 9, 16 are perfect squares. And if we get their roots, we get 1, 2, 3, and 4. The sequence is now clearer. Therefore, A sub 1 is just the square of 1 a sub 2 is just the square of 2, and a sub 10 is just the square of 10, which is equal to 100. Let's move on to series. We also related series in the story. In the story, series means animation plus animation, while in math, series means the sum of sequence. If the given sequence is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then the corresponding series is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. In short, we just replace commas with plus signs. So, how are we going to let people know that we want to add up all the terms? We'll use this Greek letter, Sigma. It's a capital letter S in the Greek alphabet. Think of it as an S for sum. The sigma notation should be read as this. The summation of k, where k is taken from 1 to 5. Here, 5 is the end term, k is the formula, i is the start term, k is the index, 
and sigma for summation. But this is also equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 equals 15. That's the end of the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.